Z Bird, welcome to Medieval, a brand new, but also not really brand new adventure on the PlayStation 4. If you don't know, this is a classic PS1 game remastered on the PS4. It looks amazing. I never really played the original. I don't even know too much about it at all, but it has a super spooky Halloween vibe to it, so it looks like a ton of fun. So yeah, if you guys are interested, let's get started with our adventures through Medieval. In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude, how demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe, and how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day, as the hero of Galamir, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> because Fortescue doesn't seem like he's returning anytime soon. I mean, he's a bunch of bones. Or maybe I'm wrong. Let's find out. Very pretty sky. Oh, it's very orange too. Spooky. Oh, that's pretty. What is going on? I have no clue. Whoa, this is so cool looking. Ah, oh, man, this game's really pretty. So deep in the dark depths of this castle. Oh, it's him. It's the bad guy. I forget his name already. Uh, oh. Ah. He has a new devious plan. Oh my. Thought he was gonna say something, but he just didn't really. I don't know if the characters talk in this game or not. I never played the original at all. I didn't really know about it. I don't like this very much. What is he doing? Huh, I think he put a curse on the land or something. <laughs> oh, he's waking people up. Oh, are they zombies now? Oh no. That's not good. They look very creepy. Ah, 
and they also have zombies. What do you know? They turn the, the real people into zombies. They turn the zombies into zombies. So, okay, here's the grave of Fortescue. <laughs> there are zombies everywhere. So Fortescue is the main character guy, I think. More zombies are rising from their graves, but inside of this giant tomb. There he is. The hero himself. And through the villain's own magic, we have been reborn. Oh, looks like this is, maybe this is the fateful day they fought originally. Oh no. Well, he really was up in front of, oh! I guess he didn't really get very far. I thought he was a bit more of a, of a go-getter. <laughs> okay. Well, he's back. Oh, and he's missing an eye. Gross. He's just a bunch of bones now. <laughs> I love his little smile, though. He still has so much uh, personality. Dan's Crypt, rise and shine Dan. It looks like you've got a second chance at this whole hero thing. All right, try not to mess it up, I think that said. So his name is Dan Fortescue? It has risen again, Sir Daniel Fortescue, see? The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'll show you, so I guess he can't really talk. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Serac and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. So the legend isn't entirely true. He wasn't as big of a hero as we like to think, but not because he wasn't noble, it's just because he wasn't very good. Can I go back in there? I can talk to them again. It has risen again. Said that. He just says the same thing. Okay, I thought that maybe he'd say something new, but let's explore around. Okay, so this is sort of like a 3D platformer, also a game like where you just like slash around and stuff, but that's, as far as I know, I did not realize that you slash around your own arm. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, I can open up these chests. We're getting a couple of coins. You just sort of run into them. Interesting, can I just lay back on my little tomb here? Just taking that. I don't want another adventure. <laughs> We're fine how we are. Um, ooh. Walk up to a book and press triangle to read it. You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Sounds good, is this book psychic? Did it know that we were going to wake up? I guess so. So there is something down this way. Which way are we supposed to go? There's like a little blue wisp that maybe I can follow around. Any treasure that you find will be added to your coin total. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. I have to keep that in mind. Merchant gargoyles. Have I've seen a couple of gargoyles in the cutscenes, like, and there's one right here, but I can't quite interact with those. When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Okay, so to leave, we're gonna have to get something and put it there. Got it, there's lots to learn. You will find life bottles throughout Galamir. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. Gotcha, so this will help us heal. Found a life bottle, it was huge for a second. Okay, uh, so let's go down here. This might be where we find that gem they were talking about. Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. Okay, so press and hold circle to charge a weapon, and then and then release. Oh, okay, so this one's like a little boomerang arm. Interesting. 
And then what's in this chest? Whoa. Found throwing daggers. So this is a new weapon, which as you can see, I can press square to throw them. Oh, I have a limited amount though, so I should be careful. And I can charge and throw three at once. So I can change, as you can see on the left, I can change between the arm and the daggers. And I found a star rune. That's cool, I'm guessing there might be some collectibles. We can jump as well. Good to know. What's inside of this chest? This is the copper shield. Okay, how do I use that? During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find your book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. I'm all about disembodied voices. All right, so what's going on here? Found small sword. Uh, so press triangle to toggle weapons, and then I can press the touchpad to uh, sort of choose different ones, I suppose. Uh, so I have like seemingly like a primary weapon, I have a ranged weapon, I have some armor. That should be equipped. Um, and like super armor, okay, star rune, and these are items. So my star rune is a famous rune, forged with star power, and then I have the beast, Book of Galamir, a beast area for beast and non-beasts alike. So in here, I can sort of learn a little bit more about different things. Oh, that's cool, maybe we could, re <laughs> that guy's so cute, look at this little earthworm. Well, we'll look more into that if we need to later, if we get a little stuck on some things. Um, for right now, how do I use my shield? Square is to attack with that, circle is to do my super move, triangle is to switch my weapons. Okay, this is putting my shield out. Gotcha. Okay, I'm sort of starting to figure out the controls. Like I said, I have never, ever even really known about this game before I knew it was being remastered. Like, I knew a little bit about it, I knew what it was, but I didn't know how the game played or anything. I wanted to read that. Um, well, I guess I'm not. <laughs> Weird. Uh, consider a gentler touch on thin walkways. So that is probably the first level done. Fancy. I can go in many different directions. Well, no, maybe I can only go into one. So we were just at one. This was Dan's Crypt. And then I can also, like it says here, go to the graveyard. Very spooky. So I figure we'll play maybe like two levels in an episode. I think that might be a good uh, piece for this game, but we'll find out. The graveyard, take your first steps as a hero and slay some helpless zombies. They may seem cranky, but they just woke up from a nice long nap. Just like us, we have a lot going on. So I guess this whole graveyard was named after Fortescue. That's how big of a deal he was. So, what is going on around here? I'm definitely gonna try to thoroughly explore to try to find all the secrets this game might have to offer. There's a random hand. I can't get it. <laughs> I love how we just flail our sword around. That's like clearly no expertise. It's just like, yeah, 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 I love it. Oh, look at this, a secret. What is this? Money. Money's good. Oh, the hand's following me around. I don't like that. There's a zombie over this way. Can I break the gravestones? Yes. That might be a bit rude to do. That might make the zombies a little bit more angry. Ready? Oh! Oh, this guy hits a lot. Uh, we got a new something there. And we got 3% according to the top right. Can't do anything to that. Let's give this a little look. Welcome back to your beloved Galamir. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living. And they want to do it over your dead body. Oh no. So, I guess they're not happy with me. I'll have to keep that in mind. Whoa, speaking of which, let's charge up and do our move of doom. And then along with it, maybe I could, oh uh, no, they're gone. Okay, so that was pretty good though. Just doing one super move can get rid of a good chunk of enemies that they're grouped up. Can I go into this crypt? No. Or maybe it's an outhouse, <laughs> who knows. Okay, so let me try using some of the range moves as you can see. We can beat these guys up in three hits. So it seems like every enemy I take out Gives me some bonus percentage, so I guess that might be an important factor is defeating all the enemies. That small light following you around is a wisp. Oh. The heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs, but when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perception. He will circle enemies, helping you direct your ranged attacks, but he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. 
Ooh, so he helps me find secrets, which is really cool. I actually called him a wisp earlier. <laughs> that was just sort of because he looked like one. Oh, okay, this guy's also, he sort of looks like us, but he's been taken down. Oh, here we go, here's another secret. This is the Earth Rune. Oh, that's cool. So we found a Sun Rune, a sun rune before, right? Well, I guess that's gone. But this is the Earth Rune forged on Earth like most runes. Well, that's good to know. Hmm. I don't see too many other enemies to fight around here, so we'll just, we'll keep walking. Oh, here we go. I like being able to use ranged moves, but I don't have too many of them, so I should probably try to make them last. I say that, but I'm gonna keep using them. What is this? Just a melted candle. So I think I'm supposed to go up there. Looks like it, looks like I could put another rune somewhere. But before I do that, we got more things to check out. Don't let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. I would love to. So let's step into here, as she said. And does that heal me? Oh, there we go, and I'm actually standing in it. Oh, you know what? I picked up the green earth rune, and that's red. I'm guessing then, yeah, we can't even do that just yet. We need to go this way so that we can go back that way. Uh, when a ranged weapon is equipped, press L1 to change the targeted enemy. Okay, that'll be useful to know. Oh, here we go, ready? Charge it up. Oh, super spin, do it again. That's fun, I really like that. I think the more you hold it, yeah, the more damage it does, you can see more of the sword lights up. That's cool. So there's sort of different levels to it. And we got another bag of cash. We have quite a lot of money so far. So here's the rune, the chaos rune, and a book. Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting. I get it, because he only has one eye. Okay, so hold, press and hold L2 to enter Dan Cam. <laughs> I like it. So with this, you can sort of go right behind him and it makes it easier to see. And with it, I can Open up this chest, it gives me a little bit more money. So let's take a look at this chaos rune. Uh, forged with the leftover magic. Gotcha. So that seems like everything in the area. I mean, I, I feel like I explored pretty thoroughly. Didn't find anything more. So let's put this right there. Use the chaos rune and hey guys, how are you? Let's do a supercharging. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, we got him pretty good there. This guy needs to be finished off. We got him. These guys hurt though, so you know what? I'm gonna go back and heal. Is why one night? It's right here. Nice. Okay. So what's going on around this area? Anything of interest in these little tombs? There's a book. Remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Okay. <laughs> this guy I didn't even find him before he just fell down. Come on, slice him up. That's it. So we're at 75% of the enemies taken down. What was that? Something like glimmered over this way. Oh, it was the enemy disappearing. Okay, gotcha. Okay, he's down. Can we interact with the angel? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, okay, what is, th what is this? Um, nothing. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a soul, the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it, and you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes oh. to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamir. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. I think I understand then. Not all enemies have souls. Killing most of the ones that do will fill the chalice, allowing you to collect it. So what I have to do is every enemy I defeat, can I hit this to make it turn again? No. Every enemy I defeat, or at least most of them, will give me uh, some bonus percentage. Yeah, and you can already see the symbol for the chalice over that way. So if I fill that all the way, also how do I get over here? You can see some money over that way. Maybe there's another way in. We'll find out. Um. But yeah, if I can get that to 100%, we can collect that chalice. So I have to find that chalice in every level, though. And there's a couple more. Are these just here to taunt me? Is there actually no way to get them? That's cruel. All right. Uh, there's a door over that way, but ooh, I can loop around. What's up here? 
Plenty more. Okay, get him. Nice. What are we up to now? 92, we're closing in on it. Couple more enemies this way. Maybe I should go back and read that book. I don't know, I thought this would maybe be a secret, but this seems pretty extensive. Uh, so maybe that door has something for me. The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. Okay. So that might mean that if that's leading to the living world, I'm guessing that's the end of the level right there. So let's leave that for last. And let's get down here. I need to use my shield a bit more. Whoa, whoa, rising from the dirt. The chalice can now be something. It could be uh, grabbed or collected or whatever. I don't. I, I didn't see what it said. <laughs> uh, but there's a couple ways to go then. First off, what's this about? Oh, I can chop! Okay, so I could get more throwing daggers, but I don't really need that many. Ow, hey guys, I was shopping, you know. Get out of here. Got some extra money right there, though. You know what? I'll, I'll get some. For you? Sure. Okay, we can get up to 250, so, I mean, I don't know what else I'm spending my money on, so I might as well. See, there's money up there, there's stuff to get up there. I, I have to find a way to get, to get up to that. Maybe if I, Jump from this platform now. I mean, clearly there is a way, but it's not this. So I'll come back. Maybe I can like unlock upgrades, like a higher jump or something, and return to levels and get more collectibles. That could be possible. Like I honestly, it's an open book to me, which is weird because we've been reading a lot of open books already so far in the game. But I just I have no clue about what to expect with, with this game. Now, let's get this guy a little bit, and just friend over this way. It's so much easier to use range moves. So much easier. I cannot get on top of that, though. This is a weird graveyard so far. There's lots going on. So anyways, maybe I should go back and open up the chalice now, or drink it, or whatever. That might be a better idea. Oh, I may have found my way over to the secret. Yeah, look at that, okay. So, shows you that that wasn't just for show, that was actually a collectible. And I might just try going through that door, because the other area goes on for a while, you know? So first off, boom, the Hall of Heroes awaits. Very cool. Um, What about this? Oh, well this is nothing, I can't actually, I thought that, I was a little worried because the last level we ran up to the book and then we accidentally walked past it and the level immediately just ended. So I just, I didn't want that to happen again. But now that I know, about that one secret, I really wanna get over there. There has to be a way that I'm missing. So I just, I cannot end the level before I figure that out. <laughs> Maybe I could just sneak in through here? No? All right. So let's get back to this. Um, we're back out this way, there's more enemies to fight too. Luckily, I can outrun these guys quite a lot. I'm sure that, well, that'll change as we move forward against tougher enemies and stuff. But so far, so good. I mean, I'm taking some damage here and there, but I'm trying to keep it to a minimum. Uh, oh, hi, hi guys. There we go, slice them up. That's a lot of fun to do. <laughs> I really do like that. And let's open up this chest. Whoa, the copper shield. So we just got a shield upgrade, right? Well, I might have to equip it. Copper shield, less protective plate, more dinner plate, okay. Um, I guess it's just sort of improved now, though. Okay, good to know. Uh, and what about this book? Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> so I'm guessing that means we can't swim. Gotcha. Uh, do I have to jump onto, what well, is this? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's too deep right there. It's sort of hard to tell. So where do I get sent back if I die? Oh, just right here. Okay, that's not that big of a deal but I used a life bottle. So if that happens again, I'm in big trouble. Gotcha, I'll probably have to like redo the level or something. Okay, well now I know. Can't beat that up or anything. Is this the end of the level? It has to be. <laughs> Doesn't that look very end of the level like? Tread softly. Zerika waits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum, hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Wow, 
Okay, you're very rude to us. Anyways, uh, I didn't get that one secret, but I looked around as much as I could. I couldn't find anything, so maybe I just missed something earlier in the level. It wouldn't let me backtrack too far. But uh, yeah, either way, I'm not really worried too much about 100%. I just sort of want to enjoy the game as much as I can. But we're going to the Hall of Heroes. All the Mightiest Heroes are celebrated here. They aren't so interested in being your friend just yet. Slay Zarok, and something will happen. Okay, so here we are in the Hall of Heroes, where we, we filled the chalice, so we should be able to get a weapon Welcome from here. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity, feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. <laughs> if they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. That'd be great. I mean, we do have the chalice filled. What about you? Oh, you're one of the shop guys. Okay, well, I don't need any of this. Thank you for the offer, though. New Book of Galomir entry. Cool. To pay homage to the heroes, stand in front of their designated statues and await spiritual guidance. I would love to. So it looks like this guy with the crossbow, I can get some guidance from here, him. Captain Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? No. <laughs> oh. How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold. You could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it at the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardak. A clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. <laughs> Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. <laughs> oh. Goodbye, sir. Oh. All right, so did we get the crossbow? All right, so that's awesome, as you can see. Oh, that's so cool. I love that the arrows bounce off the walls and stuff. And does that have a super move? It doesn't seem like it. Okay, I don't wanna waste too much ammo. Hey, look, that's me. What do I gotta do for that one? I don't know. Didn't seem to have anything. Okay, maybe if we get enough of them, we get our own statue. That'd be cool. Only when you are truly worthy as a hero will you be able to ascend to the higher level of this hall. When you have paid homage to all of the heroes in the lower hall, the ghostly stairs will then become solid. Gotcha. So we can't go up to the second level just yet. As you can see, we just fall right through. So what about this door? Uh, can't even go into here. You can sort of see there's something on the other side, but it's a mystery to me. So uh, do I just leave? Is that it? Um, <laughs> just knocked over the chalice. I guess, I mean, I don't see what else to do, so how do I leave the level? Yes, leave the Hall of Heroes. Maybe we go to the Hall of Heroes every time we finish a level, but that's probably what it is. Uh, I love that little logo on all the gravestones. Crossbows require less skill. Okay, that's good to know, I'm not very skillful. So it looks like next episode we'll have another level to tackle way over that way. Um, it will be way down here to the Cemetery Hill. Very cool. So we'll deal with that in the next episode. This was a fantastic start. A really fun game. Very cryptic, but very spooky in a fun way. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you want to see more, be sure to let me know. Episode 2 should be coming soon. But with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Medieval. Before you go, be sure to comment Skeleton Zebra so that you watch the end of the You're a Zebra Tasty Viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.